Hello, my friends. Nice to meet you again. Today, we start from a regular octagon. Connecting a pair of opposite sides, we can construct a rectangle. Can you calculate the ratio of the areas between the rectangle and the octagon? Why not give a try, and we will come back soon. Since this is a practice for the 5th grade pupils, we will try to solve it without too much complicated mathematical skills. We first plot the diagonals which connect every pair of opposite vortices. And then, plot the straight lines, which connect the midpoints of every pair of opposite sides. Now, the octagon is divided into 16 congruent triangles. Now, we need to see how many such triangles the rectangle can be divided to. To this end, we keep four of the previous lines and highlight the sides of the rectangle. It is easy to see the rectangle can be divided into eight small triangles. The ratio of areas is therefore equal to 8 over 16. So it equals to 1 half. We are done. Just in case you are curious about the calculation with background knowledge higher than 5th grade, we can solve it in the following way in which we regard the whole figure as a combination of two trapezoids and one rectangle. Let's denote the length of each side as r. So the height of the trapezoid is r over square root of 2. The length of the longer base of the trapezoid, as well as the width of the rectangle, is 1 plus square root of 2, and times r. So the area of the rectangle equals 2. r times, 1 plus square root of 2 times r, which equals to 1 plus square root of 2 times square of r. The area of the octagon is equal to such a rectangle plus two trapezoids and the total area of the two trapezoids equals two. The summation of two bases, r and one plus square root of two times r times the height, r over square root of two. So it is equal to one plus square root of two times square of r as well. So it is the same as the area of the rectangle. The area of the octagon is therefore twice of the area of the rectangle. So their ratio is one half. The result is the same. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.